What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl that's cool. Let's get into this commentary. Homies, you will never believe this, okay? So, I just got a link sent to me about a shooting in Long Island. So, we're going to get into that right now. A son who shot parents at a Long Island mansion on Christmas is New York City bodybuilder, okay? And this is reported by the cops. So, we're going to get into this. We are going to get into this. Now, the man allegedly shot his parents at their Long Island mansion Christmas morning was identified Sunday as a 29-year-old bodybuilder from Brooklyn, according to the cops and a report. Pumped up Dino Tomasetti or Tomasetti is accused of shooting his 65-year-old father in the back and his 64-year-old mother in the head at the Tony Hewlett Harbor home just after 10 a.m., okay, according to Nassau County cops. That is horrible. How can you shoot your parents? Like, his parents have money, okay? Their parents have money. Like, I don't understand. He's a bodybuilder in Brooklyn, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Um, What would make him do this? Like, why did he shoot his parents? Both victims, identified by law enforcement sources to New Jersey's Daily Voice as Rocco and Vincenza Tomasetti. Or is it pronounced Tomasetti? You guys let me know if you know the correct saying of their last name. Now, had to go under, undergo surgery for their wounds. The father was said to be in more serious condition. Okay? Sources told The Voice. They had a beautiful home, you know, beautiful home. I, I, I just don't understand this. Mm. Their home is located in Hewlett Harbor, Long Island. Property records show that the mansion value at $3.2 million, according to a real estate website, is owned by the couple. Now, Dino, he is 5'9", 235 pounds, muscle man, fled to New Jersey in a Cadillac Escalade after the shootings, okay? His vehicle was tracked through GPS by the New York State Police, who contacted the Mawa Police Department for help when the suspect reached that area, sources said. Authorities nabbed Dino without incident just after 2 p.m. He will remain in custody in Bergen County, charged as a fugitive from justice, pending his extradition to Nassau County. Wow. His charges in New York will ultimately depend on the condition of his parents. Dino works as a personal trainer, according to the Daily Voice. His father owns the Brooklyn-based Empire Transit Mix Incorporated, located on Massmouth Avenue. State records shows, okay, a worker who answered the phone for the company on Sunday um, was completely unaware that his boss had been shot. This is definitely shocking news to me, he said. Now, Dino, Dino's mother owns a dance studio on Broadway in Lindbrook, and the records also show that. A phone call to the studio was not returned. A woman outside Dino's building in East Williamsburg, Williamsburg who identi identified herself as his best friend, told the Post that he's definitely not a violent person. Well, if he's not a violent person, what happened? Why did he shoot his parents? Was he on something that day? I mean, you just never know. Like, did he have, like, a chemical imbalance? Like, if he's not a violent person, what would drive him to want to shoot his parents? Okay? Mm, 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 mm. Nope, not at all, she said. He's my best friend. I really don't want to talk about it, she added before driving off. A worker in his building called... Um, Dino, a great guy. 
What can you do? The worker said. I'm from the South Bronx. Shit happens every fucking day, man. Not much I can do about it. He did what he felt he needed to do, I guess. What? What type of... <laughs> what? The guy said, what can you do? The, okay, the worker said, I'm from the, South, I'm from the South Bronx. Shit happens every day. Every fucking day, okay? Man, not much I can do about it. He did what he felt he needed to do, I guess. Now, he could have left that part out. He felt like he needed to do. He could have left that part out because I'm sorry. I don't care what happens. It's, it's not like his parents... I mean, what could his parents have done or have said to him to drive him to that edge to just want to shoot them? He shot his mother in the head. He shot his father in the back, okay? That's personal. That's personal. He was trying to harm them. And for what? Let me continue. He's a great man. I wouldn't expect him to do something like that. Sometimes we, we we think we know people and we really don't. His parents' neighbors were shocked that such an incident could happen in their quiet, affluent neighborhood. Let me tell you something. Crime happens everywhere. Even in the places you least expect it. There is always something going on. It may not be out in the open. It may, it may be hush-hush. But things happen. Okay? They are lovely people. I don't understand this whole thing a resident told the post. They're very nice people. You couldn't ask for better neighbors, the man said of the couple. That's all I can tell you. They don't bother you. They keep their house beautiful. They talk to you and say, can I help you with anything? They're very fine people. I can't say a bad word about them. I feel sorry for them. What else can you, what else can you think? I feel sorry for them. I hope they survive and come out of this, he added. Another stunned neighbor who said she was not in her home at the time of the shooting said she seldom saw the married couple out in public and never seen their son. We saw the husband and the wife very rarely. The husband was fixing stuff in the yard and brought packages over and stuff, she said. We are very surprised. We are scared. We feel bad for them. Hmm. Wow. This is really crazy. Let me tell you something. Long Island is not, is not nothing new with crime happening, okay? Do you guys remember Joey Buttafuoco and Amy and that whole thing? That happened. I think that was out on Long Island. Um, a lot of crimes happened out in Long Island and every time something hit the news that somebody always says I wouldn't expect this to happen here well just because your neighborhood is quiet a lot of stuff goes on that you probably don't even know about yes they had a 3.2 million million dollar home but you just never know what goes on in people's houses okay you just never know what goes on in people's houses now the father the Thomas said he um you know, guy, Rocco, is that his father's name? I want to get it correct. He owns a lot of businesses, okay? He owns a lot of businesses. But it was dead wrong for their son to do that to him, to them. Okay? Yes, the father's name is Rocco. That was dead wrong. It was dead wrong for that son to do that to his parents and he's never going to have any good luck you know and they don't say why what the motive was or why he did this you know um they caught him in new jersey okay see these newer cars will get you in trouble because they can track the gps he didn't turn the gps off or nothing he thought he was going to get away with this on Christmas morning, you shoot your parents. What happened? Did he, did he want money and he wouldn't give it to him? Like, I just don't understand. I just don't understand why this man shot his parents. This is really crazy. 
So I'm going to keep my eye on this story because I do not know what his motive was. And he's supposed to be extradited back to Nassau County soon. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But he is not going to ever have any good luck. And if something happens, if one of them, God forbid something happens to one of them, if they one of them die, he's in a whole lot of trouble. He's in trouble now. He's in trouble now. God forbid something happened to one of them, like they pass away. Oh, he's really, he's he's really going to be in, in trouble. Really going to be in trouble. You know, you got people out here who don't have parents, okay, who will love to have parents or their parents have died. And then you got people out here acting a fool, doing this type of stuff to their parents. You get what I'm saying? It, it just It just bothers me. It just really bothers me. But anyway, guys, that's all I have. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.